so if you have a vehicle and the engine oil light comes on and you go and check the oil and it shows full that it's at the correct level and there's no issues there i thought i'd go over the causes of this and how you go about fixing it and this is going to include like a, like a red oil warning light or a orange or yellow oil warning light and you might even get some kind of message on your dashboard or your oil gates can go down and be around zero the causes of this are going to be pretty much the same so the things to go and check is going to be pretty much the same no matter what messages you're getting or warning lights and so what are some possible causes well a very common problem with this is going to be the oil sending unit or pressure switch this is very common and some vehicles have an oil pressure sensor. It's really gonna vary. It's gonna depend on the year, the vehicle, and things like this. But there's gonna be an oil sending unit or an oil pressure sensor that's gonna be located on the engine somewhere. And if one of these goes bad, then it's gonna be reporting bad data and it's gonna turn on that oil warning light. This also includes the wiring going to the sensor or oil pressure sending unit. So if you could go locate the oil sending unit on your engine or the oil pressure sensor, depending on what you have, and check out the wiring. Be sure it's got good connections. There's no open shorts, anything like this, because bad wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor or bad sending unit. So this is a very common problem when this happens. So first thing to go and do is check out the sending unit or pressure sensor, whichever you have, and the wiring going to them. And the next thing that's going to cause this is that you have low oil pressure. And this can be caused by different things. If you have really dirty oil and it hasn't been changed in a while, it's possible that it's really dirty and the oil filter is clogged up and it's blocking the flow of oil. So that could be causing low oil pressure. If for some reason the wrong oil was added and it's thicker than it should be, this can also cause low oil pressure. So for example, if your vehicle uses 5W20, but for some reason 5W30 was added to it, then that could possibly cause low oil pressure and it could trigger that light. It's also possible that there's some kind of issue going on with the warning light or the dashboard gauges. Usually when there's a problem in the gauges or lights, it's not just one light or one gauge. So if you are having like a lot of issues with the dashboard lights or gauges for some reason, then it could just be a bad gauge or bad light. Another possible cause is going to be that it has a bad oil pump and the bad oil pump is not going to be able to pump the oil around so you're not going to have no oil pressure and if that was to happen that'd be a very serious problem that needs to be fixed right away and it's also possible that there's clogged oil passages where the oil is pumped through the whole engine especially with really old engines the oil might not have been changed regularly and things like this and slowly these oil passages all got clogged up and so the oil pressure is just really low and so that light's getting triggered and so what do you check if you have this problem well, the first thing to go and check is going to be that oil sending unit or sensor, whichever you have in your vehicle. Like I said, this is a very common problem with this issue. Most people, when this happens, are just going to automatically change these out since they're low cost. They're usually like $10 or so or less than 20 But first thing to do is to find out what your engine has, if it has an oil sending unit or it has an oil pressure sensor located and either test it or replace it. And also, again, check the wiring. Be sure the wiring going to it is good because any open, short, bad connection is going to cause the same issues as a bad sensor. If you check that all out and that all is good, then the next thing to do is to use an oil pressure gauge and check to see what your oil pressure is. And basically, the way you use one of these is that you remove where the oil sending unit is and once you remove it you attach a gauge to it and then you start up the engine you see what the oil pressure is every engine is going to be different on at what pressure it's supposed to be rated to be running at but for example say your vehicle is supposed to be running at 50 psi but for some reason it's running at 35 psi then you know that oil pressure is low and you'd have to troubleshoot why it's running low again that could be like old dirty oil or clogged oil filter could be the wrong oil could be a bad oil pump could be clogged oil passages something along these lines but if you check it and it's working at the correct pressure then you know it's something going on with like the oil sending unit or the oil pressure sensor or inside the wiring going to those and you know the engine oil itself is good and so the main way that you go about troubleshooting this would be to use an oil pressure gauge and check to see what your oil pressure is and so that's basically it i just wanted to go over the main causes of why an oil warning light would come on but your engine oil shows full if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day